Alright guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be checking out this massive blimp there. So right now we're just driving to it on our small dune buggy. Which is very, very fast, by the way. Oh, okay, well, anyways, now that we're here, we can ignore this buggy and go ahead and get into this blimp. Alright, so this is a huge blimp. And actually, when I spawned it in, uh, it gave me a warning saying it's a little too big and it might lag my game. So I've noticed that the wheel is broken, so hopefully that doesn't impact us too much. So let's go ahead and get inside this blimp. So is that wheel making... The wheel's making these noises. I think it's stuck inside the ground. All right, so I fixed the problem. I just spawned it. No, never mind, I didn't. I guess this thing's a way too heavy for the wheel to support. So anyways, let's turn this key button. Oh, no. Okay. Well, those things must have been stabilizing this thing because now we're really... We're falling over. So let's see if we can find the cockpit. This is not the cockpit. Ah, here we go. Okay. So to turn it on, I'm guessing we have to first find the power switches, which I don't know where they are, actually. Oh, there they are. Okay, main ballot at re engine one two three four and oh okay well this is gonna take forever and let's turn this thing on so uh fuel pumps let's turn up the throttle actually we have to turn on ignition first it sounds like it's working nice okay so throttle up let's turn the collective down heater parking brakes differential I think, okay, let's turn up the collective and hopefully we start moving. Yes, here we go. Okay, we've just lifted off. And I'm just going to say here that this is a really, really cool looking uh, blimp. I love how it has like the windows on the sides. So it's like, you, it's like, it's not really a blimp, right? Because normal blimps would have it hanging underneath. Because the room this part is in normally is literally just helium. We have like the most random thing possible. I'm pretty sure it's just wheels. The wheel, a wheel glitch that keeps this thing up. Or maybe it's a bunch of, did you guys hear that? Oh, one of our engines has just exploded. So I think it's because I left this throttle on 100%. So anyways, let's go ahead and go over here and check out the new, uh, the exploded engine. Let's grab a fire extinguisher and go upstairs. Oh, wait, no, these aren't the stairs. These are the stairs. All right, so this is this really cool window. All right, and I think the exploded engine should be way, way back here. If I'm not, let me get in the seat and check where I am. So I'm right here. The in the exploded engine's like a bit farther behind me, but I can't get to it. How do I get to that? There's a wall where I want to go. Maybe we have to go downstairs first. All right, so right now, for right now, uh, the blimp is flying itself because really we're just going in circles right now because um, one of the engines on one side is exploded so there's an imbalance in the thrust so that means the the thing is just literally just flying in circles and I really like how they added a pattern to the ground it gives it more like it looks cooler anyways uh, okay I can see the fire here we go okay let's put this out hopefully this works hopefully we can repair it with a welder and it doesn't like completely ruin the thing there's still more fire in the engine area once the light goes once the orange glow glows goes away um we should be perfectly fine so i don't think i can reach the rest of the fire like <gasps> yeah the fire is underneath it's spread it to somewhere i can't touch let's go in the yeah no this part is like pretty inaccessible so I guess I could fire through this gap, but that's not gonna really do much. Anyways, guys, I just remembered something. Um, I actually decided I want to, since I have much more time in my schedule now, I actually do want to post twice a week. And also a commenter on one of my videos suggested that as well. So I thought, why not? So from now on, for now at least, I'm going to be posting twice a week. So once on Wednesday and once on Sunday. And if you guys do want to see my Wednesday and Sunday uploads right when they come out, uh, go ahead, subscribe, and get, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. And after saying all that, I just spent way too much time talking to you guys, and I should have been focusing on firefighting. And 
I think we have to go to the... Oh, no. The lower deck's on fire, too. Okay, I'm having a visual glitch where the water is, like, pulsating and not actually, like, coming out in a steady stream. So that's not very good. But it seems to be putting out the fire, guys. So no more... I mean, this a small glow, obviously, because you can't... The fire's on the outside, right? Yeah, I can't reach it, so we're just gonna hope the fi fire doesn't spread to the inside of here. Anyways, I'm gonna try to steer this thing, like, correctly. Uh, let me turn off a few of these lights. They're a bit laggy. Okay, so anyways, let's go around here and see if there's a way we can, uh, not, st like, stop ourselves from turning in circles. And, oh, I do remember, before I put out the fire on the engine, it was a much more intense fire. But now it's, like, just small flames, but across a very large portion of the airship. I wonder, guys, if there's a way to, uh, put up the landing gear, but it doesn't look like it. There does not seem to be a way to do that. Oh, what's up with these doors? Let me try to check. It just ways to jump out? I I'm guessing? I, I have no idea. Alright guys, so while I was doing that cinematic thing, I just noticed something insanely annoying. Look at this side, see how it's smooth and look good looking? And look at this side. There's a literal, one, there's a single triangle out of place on this entire massive build, that's on fire by the way. Um, on this entire massive build, there's a single triangle out of place. It could have been perfect. Let's do some more firefighting. Because I see the fire has spread even more. Okay, yeah, it has definitely spread a ton. So, oh, look at this. The graphical glitch has gone. That's great. I think it's because I switched fire extinguishers. So now the graphical glitch, maybe it was just limited to one uh, fire extinguisher. But now, look, as you guys can see, it's a steady stream. And it's not, like, pulsing on and off. So I think I've just ruined the entire blimp. And, yeah, this thing is not going to be repairable. Like, before it might have been, but since I couldn't reach the fire, it definitely wasn't anymore. Oh, wait, guys, I just remembered. I'm pretty sure you can go to the top of this thing, like, through a ladder. So I'm going to go ahead and look for that now. Um, I might be totally wrong. Oh, look at that, there's windows down there. But anyways, I might be completely 100% wrong about this, and you might not be able to go to the top. But I'm pretty sure I, I saw some ladders. Uh, as we go through here, let's quickly put out the fires. So the reason why I want to get up top is because I'm pretty sure the only way to get to the fires that are inaccessible currently is through going to the top of the blimp, right? So that way, we would be able to t see the fire and throw our fire extinguisher or fire extinguisher water down there right so look at that there's the hatch up there and we just need to get there okay so the view up here is oh nope i just fell down but i was gonna say the view up here is pretty cool looking like it's very cool looking so this entire video has literally been me fighting a fire on a blimp and just flying in circles because We've never actually made any progress, because one of the engines is demolished, so we're only going to be able to turn left. And yeah, cause, so we're just flying in circles. Alright, so, oh, look at this. There's a little wind sensor. That's pretty cool looking. I, I don't want to fall off right now. Actually, I'm going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Hopefully you had fun watching it, and, well, uh, goodbye.